The Conference on Climate Smart Agriculture, Building Sustainability and Resilience in Agriculture sought to bring about interactive discussions on various aspects of agriculture crop production in an era where the regional agriculture industry struggles to thrive amidst a myriad of climate-related variabilities such as prolonged drought, damaging hurricanes and tropical storms, and extensive flooding. The event organized by the Taiwan ICDF through the Global Cooperation and Training Framework, a facility established to train development practitioners in 2015, saw submissions by the Foreign Agriculture Service of the United States Department of Agriculture, the Inter-American Institute on Cooperation in Agriculture, IECA, and the Ministry of Agriculture of the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. It also explored topics such as utilizing weather data and innovative site-specific techniques to step up agriculture production and resilience, and systemizing climate action in Caribbean agriculture. Taiwanese Ambassador to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Shen, in explaining how important the activity is to St. Lucia, says discussions like these, involving practitioners from different sectors to collect collectively address climate impact issues on the sector will be a key feature in implementing agriculture projects and programs in the future. I think to tackle the impact of climate change is a continued uh, process and uh, I think a long, long term uh, efforts. So um, the older uh, uh, project or older cooperation that we're dealing with uh, Ministry of Agriculture all have this uh, component. Uh, for example, in uh, PBIP, we have the irrigation system. We introduced the Taiwanese uh, uh, variant of uh, banana. So that's all part of the uh, measures that we're dealing with the impact and also including the uh, hoop uh, greenhouse of our uh, Seven Cross project. So all of that, uh, all uh, including in uh, the uh, way that we, how, to, how we uh, tackle this impact of uh, climate change. In St. Lucia, the Banana Productivity Improvement Project, the BPIP, and the Seven Crops Project are examples of interventions on the ground in which climate smart agriculture concepts are readily incorporated. Project coordinator of the Seven Crops Project, Adlin Yudovic, says her project actions are uniquely tailored to assist farmers in sustaining their overall output. We have introduced the hoop greenhouses, we have introduced weather stations, we have introduced simple basic technologies such as irrigation, and we plan to continue uh, mitigating against climate change. As you know right now, we are in the rainy season and we have more dry season weather out there. So we understand that, um, that drought is a serious issue, that flooding is a serious issue, and that these are direct um, um, impacts of climate change on a uh, climate change sorry on our system so we do continue to explore the appropriate technologies and we continue to assist the farmers in um, accessing capacity building in terms of their training and also introducing them to new technology where they could um, mitigate against the climate change the Agriculture Ministry, through collaborative efforts with agriculture development partners, have made commitments towards the full adoption of climate smart interventions for the sector and continued discourse on what will work best for the industry's future. From the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Amanda Fee Clark reporting.